Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Space Expansion. So I've been carrying on building up the uh, re the next parts for my spaceship uh, as before. We finished off the um, the shield machine for this uh, down here for th that uh, we're making and the um, what have we got up here? This is some sort of reactor. That's about 74% built now. So 74% of these things have been gone through and assembled. Uh, what am I short of this time? Oh, orange, um, orange alien artifacts. So interestingly, as this was running through, uh, uh, initially it, it ran, it ground to a halt. Now, originally I thought that was probably going to be down to the, um, the blue circuit production because that's been a bit of a, uh, a bottleneck, as has the, um, the low density structures. But it turned out I'd actually run out completely of the uh, blue alien artifacts. So, um, but, it and it, but it turns out, fortunately, you can make extra ones out of um, by combining one blue alien artifact with with some, with a load of the uh, put norm, normal vanilla alien artifacts, the pink ones. Now that's all very well as long as you haven't actually completely run out of blue ones, um, and I had. So, but fortunately, I was able to wander off and just find some lying on the floor and pick those up. So, in order to get that working, uh, where where is this thing? Okay, here we go. I put in this machine here, which takes takes blue ones out of here, combines them with some purple, uh, some pink ones, and then puts them back in again. Um, and that's working quite well, as you can see. I've got up to a thousand in there, perfectly happily there. Um, but, but it seems I've, I've now run into the same sort of problem with the orange ones as well, which is a bit unfortunate. So I'm going to have to come down here and try and squeeze another uh, assembly machine in in order to get that to uh, get that to get that to work. And I'll also have to find some orange um, alien artifacts as well to to, to uh, start it going. Uh, that's not too difficult though. I can I, I should be able to do that. They're they're usually pretty easy to find. No, those are all just pink. Any here? No. Oh, there's. Yeah. Was that an orange one? Uh, let's turn logistics off for now. It's two small orange ones, but not a big orange one yet. Now, small orange ones can be turned into big orange ones, but you need quite a lot of it. So I'd like to find a big one if I can. Oh, that was one, I think. No, apparently not. Maybe those ones that look very, very orange are actually red, because that's definitely yellow. Those are definitely orange in that pile. Right. So now I've got some orange ones. Okay, so I'll just run, I'll run over there and get that set up. One second. Right, so I'm going to repurpose this machine here and tell that one to start making. Where are they? They're in here somewhere. Here we go. Making those out of the other sort. So now that's passing them up there. I can put in another inserter to put them back again. Um, now I want you to pick up from up here somewhere. There we go. And you can take. Well, I never need for my inventory. Right, and that will now start building the orange ones. Oh, got that wrong. Take from there, put there. <sighs> These things are a pain. I don't know how to take... So the, the problem I've got here is this inserter is holding a thing I don't want it to be holding. And so it won't... I don't know how to make it not do that. So let's just delete that. Put in and start again. One in there. But we'll put them down up there. No, it's the other way around. We'll drop them inside the uh, in, in there and take them from up there. Right, there we go. And now they're passing them happily back and forth. So that's working nicely. The other thing I need to do here is link them together with a wire like this. It's the same as I've done over here. And tell that to stop work working. When where are they? Here we go. When orange artifacts is well, no, sorry, or rather only work when orange artifacts is less than a thousand. So that that will run until this has a thousand in it, and yes, all sorts of normal stuff. So this will run until there's a thousand in here, as it's done with the as this one's done with the blue ones, and then it will stop. So that that will that will work nicely. The problem is that this is going to run through my supply of these pink ones relatively quickly, and I'm going to start having issues about with my supply of those. As you can see, I've only got 4,000 left at the moment. And that's not going to be enough to make, because this is a, this is a 5 to 1, isn't it? Yes, it uses 5 pink ones to make... Oh no, to make 5 orange, so that is alright. It, it is going to be able to convert those across um, without before it runs out. But still, I am running a bit low on the on the normal pink ones. I might have to send out my bots to do a sort of a mass sweep for those things. So, right, that was a bit of a distraction. Where was I? Okay, so this is 76% done. 
I think I've grabbed the uh, thing out of there, yes. So I've got the um, protection field and the command center. So I'm going to nip down and shove those in in, uh, in rockets so we can get those launched off. This is still only this is 76% done, so there's still a bit more to go on there. And then I'm going to talk about um, trying to get science done because that's quite a, um, a big job and very resource hungry. And where's my locomotive? I keep leaving it in the wrong place. Or rather, I keep forgetting where I've left it. So, science. The way, so what I've got at the moment is the the as, as, I, as I said, there's an enormous amount of research to be done for this faster than light stuff, and it starts off just requiring orange science, which isn't too bad. Then it goes into orange, uh, yellow science. Then it goes to yellow and red. Then yellow, red, and blue. So it's gradually getting more and more expensive, and going to be more and more difficult to keep the um, keep the supplies going. Um, but while it's get, so what what I've done over here is I've upgraded all of my um, research labs to Mark IIs, uh, which is the which is as high as they go, and I've shoved them full of uh, of product productivity modules. So this, I, I then did the maths for this, and so these require two million each, and they take sixty seconds to run at sort of basic speed. Um, I've got four hundred and forty eight labs. It turns out if I click on here, it tells me here four hundred and forty eight shows in the power power usage. Each of those has got um, a four times four forty percent productivity boost in it, so it's a one point six boost to productivity, meaning the thing will run at two point six times its normal speed. And because it's a Mark II lab, it says in the box text here that this runs at two, uh, research speed two plus five. Now I believe the two is because it's a Mark II lab, and the plus five is because I've researched that many levels of um, extra research speed. So that in total comes up to a, um, a reasonably significant boost. It brings it down from a whole 2 million minutes, which is what the research would, would normally take, down to a mere 245 minutes um, because of the massive parallelizing and the, um, and the productivity modules. But 245 minutes, that's still more than four hours for each one of those researches. Um, and there's not really any way I can boost that, I can make that any quicker other than by building more of these um, research farms. Now that certainly is a possibility. These are as big as they can get. I've, I've removed the second half, you may notice, um, because at this at this size, these belts are capable of carrying in uh, just over 50, sorry, just these are capable of carrying 60 per second, and I'm only using half of it, but I'm using half on this one and half on the on my other research factory debt plant down, down over here. So between the two of them, they are capable of providing 60 a second, and I'm using just over 50 a second. So these are fast enough, and as, as you'll see if you watch the yellow streaming through here, every so often it stops for a couple of seconds, and it goes back to just running running flat out as it's keeping the all of the labs, well, all the labs full of research packs. So that works, but but it does mean that is basically maxed out. I could make it, I could put a few more on there. I could make it go a little bit faster by by upgrading all of this to green belts, but it wouldn't make an absolutely enormous difference. So if I want this to go faster, then I'd need to make another one of these research factories. That's fine in theory. It would it would work. I could then I could then trip uh, double or triple or whatever the uh, the amount the speed I'm um, researching at. But the problem I'd then have is that I'd be pulling, producing these I'd be using the science from these much faster than I'm actually producing it. So these are producing at I'm not sure what speed off the top of my head. Um, let's see if we can work it out. A yellow one is an, this is an easy one. It takes uh, five seconds to make one. Um, but I, but it's fast. Runs faster than normal because I've got these assembly machines. <laughs> um, these are these run at three and a half, so we're looking at about less than two seconds. And, I've, and I'm half, so it's less than one second per thing. But I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. So I've got forty. So that's still that. Even at absolute best case, this is only going to be producing them at about forty per second. And this is the easiest one. Over here, it gets harder and harder, and up to the the purple and the pink ones, which are the ones I've been having the most trouble with. I'm not, and this one's broken again. It's this is ground to a halt. Okay, the station's full, so it doesn't matter too much. But for some reason, this is this is ground to a halt because I've run out of brass for these brass chests. So it's not at the moment. It doesn't seem to be feasible to produce the resources fast enough to churn them out at the rate that these systems are going to be getting through them. So at the moment. It's, it's okay because I'm just using lots and lots of yellow. It doesn't seem to have exhausted the supply in these chests yet. Every so often it goes through and dumps load into a train and brings load by and down by train. That's that's all great. It, it is it is basically working. 
um, at the moment but once I get onto the more expensive and difficult ones that's going to be a bit harder so if I want to carry on researching at that sort of speed let alone start researching at a faster speed I'm going to need to make perhaps another entire rack of all of this and I could, and that's not too difficult I could just copy and paste this somewhere else and then I would have another factory doing the same sort of thing just again on an even bigger scale but the problem is then of course all of the resources if I'm using I'm already I'm already short of brass for some reason or bronze I'm pretty sure it's actually brass so if I wanted to then double the number of um, factories I'd need to double the amount of brass I was producing and I'll probably probably a significant boost the amount of steel the amount of the amount of circuits and all that sort of thing so I was having as you may may remember from a, a previous episode I was having trouble with the amount of quantity of red circuits I was making um, I fixed that now as you can see these are nearly full so there's 157,000 there um, and I did that by taking from my um, it was the uh, the problem I had with the red circuits was this this belt here that's bringing in the resistors and the transistors which wasn't fast enough to produce to go to do to supply more than about this many machines so in order to sort that out I've gone down to my production machines down here I've put in additional belts feeding off in the opposite direction so we've got another belt of uh, resistors another belt of transistors coming up here a quick shenanigan here to put them on to, to get them into uh, two mixed belts and then run them along here and, and that way I was able to triple my output of red circuits so there are ways to, to, to boost the output um, and it, this is sort of a slightly cleverer extension of the um, normally just going in and chucking green belts in all over the place that I've been doing but there's only so far this this can go I think I probably am going to have to make another copy of all of this just in order to get enough supply just in order to boost it up because I'm not waiting four hours for each of those and there's one two three four five six more of those to do so <laughs> yes yeah, a 24 hour 24 hours of, of, of leaving the game running in order to get all of that done and that's if I don't run out of the other supplies that I need so it's not really feasible is it oops no don't send grenades to space I've just sent a grenade to space haven't I <laughs> oh, maybe. oh well no rockets are cheap run after the rockets <laughs> right okay what was I saying so um, apart, ignoring the fact I've just sent a grenade to space is one of my um, random exciting things um, yeah so I can these these machines here are capable of running at, um, at, produ at running at um, I don't know how many science they're doing with the with the productivity modules, but they're using 50, just over 50 a second. This is not capable of producing that, not by a long shot. However, I can make a complete copy of it and put it somewhere else, like I don't know down here because there's plenty of space, and then that'll provide a bit of extra oomph and production, should we say, in order to keep keep it all running. So I think. I shall probably do that, even if it feels like a bit a bit horrendous. And then essentially I'll have to go through and tweak all of the things that are supplying it in order to keep them up to speed. But at the moment, what do we see? We're running yeah, we're out of brass plates. I don't even know where that's produced. I think it's down I think it's coming off this system down here. Um, so I'm gonna to need to modernise that, bring it over to my enormous metal system up here. At some point I'm then gonna to have to upgrade all of this to better belts in order to get more throughput because I'm going to be using it all up. So is this not? Oh, maybe this is the brass. Uh, I can't tell the difference between brass and bronze. I'll go and have a look into that. Put it that way. So, yes. As you, so as I've as I'm describing, there's there's quite a lot to worry about here. <laughs> there's all of the science is going is going well. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of it being done. As you can see, this is getting closer and closer to finish. The more I talk. So if that was four hours in total, that's two hours to there, one hour to there. There's probably about only another 15 minutes or so of that running. But eventually, we're going to start running out of yellow science, and then we're going to, and then I'm going to have to start doing it again on the next one. I'm going to, I'm going to start running out of red science as well, and that's slightly slower to make, and it's just going to, it's going to spiral. So I am going, I'll, I will make another copy of all of this, and then we'll see how that goes. I think that is, however, going to be something I will produce for the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. 
I hope you're enjoying this. If you have any questions about what I'm doing, do let me know. I'm always happy to answer. Um, I suspect it's all reasonably self-explanatory, so uh, we shall, well, we shall see. But as always, stay in touch. I hope you'll be back for the next episode, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.